Hey, shalom brothers, shalom sisters, Bishop Nathaniel here. That's right, you know what day it is. It's Shout Out Tuesday. It is Shout Out Tuesday. And I pray you brothers and sisters join me every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC Events channel, where I will be reading your kind and inspirational letters, also thanking you for your kind donations, and also covering very important biblical information for the mental well-being of our 12 tribes. That's right, 12 tribes worldwide. So hope to see you then every Tuesday afternoon on IUIC events. Shalom. Back Hey, we the only team don't play games. Championship reigns, need champagne. Babylon can't stop this campaign. Rampage, cause I know why the heat the rage. Cause the guys be bringing it out. This kingdom, we bringing it down. Lost sheep, we'd have been found. Wait until we get a crown. Talk. Yeah. Just that crown talk. Yeah. Me or my don't want be like Nino Brown now. Nah. Cause this that king talk. Who? Real life king talk. Who? Like Solomon, I see things clearly like a greenhouse. The wordplay can't get colorful. The scriptures cutting you the butter too. Not to mention we a living legend. Don't know what to do when a myth is standing right in front of you. You better watch and just take notes. The father sent the flood in a rainbow. But his son coming back with fire. So it ain't gonna be no more scapegoats. Let me tell you what the prophecy. Unparalleled with the prophecies. Stopping Fritz, bodies in the street. My people property in this monopoly. Call it America. Where the dreams come true. When nightmares and the demons come too Decide I might agenda I don't give a damn if you offended cause this right. The most high ain't hearing our prayers right now Because we in the midst of sin right. Because of the smoking, because of the drugs Because of the drinking God is not hearing your prayers Right. So you pray, you just wasting your time Get that in Proverbs 28 Proverbs chapter 28 Because I said so, I'm going to go to the scriptures And prove what I said God is not hearing our prayers when we in the midst of sin. You got that? Proverbs chapter 28 and verse 9. Read that. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 9. Uh -huh. He that turneth away his ear from hearing the law. So the scripture says if you turn away your ear star, you turn away your ear from hearing the commandments, what's going to happen? Even his prayer shall be an abomination. Even what? His prayer shall be an abomination. It says, even your prayer shall be an abomination. So, Star, what is an abomination? It's counsel. It's what? Counsel. Now, an abomination is something that God hates. Bring it up. So, if, if you in the midst of sin, God hates that thing, right? Yeah. Right? You said what now? I said, what well, if y'all know what sin is? You really just don't believe it like this. Okay, we just don't believe it, right? What you got? It like okay, this. read that. Watch this. Watch this. Jeremiah chapter 44, verse 4. Uh -huh. How be it I send unto you all my servants the prophets, uh -huh. rising early and sending them, saying, Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. So God sent the prophets. We was up early to come out here and read this Bible to our people, right? And what it, read that again? Sending them saying, oh, sending them out to the streets to you, Star, saying what? Oh, do not this abominable thing that I hate. Don't do the abominable things that God hates. Right. Eating the pork, eating the shrimp, crabbing lobster, uh, smoking. God don't like that thing. Where a woman wearing pants, God does not like that. Right. Do you understand that? Yeah. Do you do you really understand that? So we are huh? We are but is it right with God? Just because we do something, does that mean it's right with God? Huh? Also, probably wearing skirts. 
We yeah, we supposed y'all supposed women supposed to be wearing skirts. Let's get it out the scripture. And we doing this to help you. We not doing this to, to bash you or hurt you. We doing this to help you. Cause you wanna go to heaven, right? Everybody wanna go to heaven. But there's things you have to be doing to get to heaven. You right. understand that? So let's get that in Deuteronomy 22 and verse 5. Read that for us. Deuteronomy chapter 22, verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. It says, The woman shall not wear that which pertain or belong to men. Okay? So what do men wear? Tights, I don't shoot. I don't want no tights. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> so men wear pants and shorts, correct? All right, let's see. Keep reading. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. He says, neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Right. What's a woman's garment? A dress and skirts. You see right. what I'm saying? But not just any type of dress or skirt. It's a modest dress or skirt. You see right. what I'm saying? Why? Why is that? Why did God say this? No. Why? Why did He tell? Why did He give us? Right. Because it puts it puts a manly spirit on a woman when she wear pants. Right. That's that's why she tell she able to tell the man, I I wear the pants in the house. Right. What's that mean? She's trying to be the man. That's what that's that right. means. Right. But God said. The man is over the woman. You see what I'm saying? So it's an abomination for women to wear pants. It's called cross-dressing. Right. You see what I'm saying? Get that in uh, 1 Corinthians 11. So God set up an order. An order in, in his kingdom. The kingdom of Israel. How you doing, my brother? Walking, walking in the store in the brown. How you doing? Come on over here and talk to us, my brother. All right, watch this, Star. Watch this. Read that. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 3. But I will have you know that the head of every man is Christ. It's the scripture says the head of every man is Jesus Christ. Correct? Read. And the head of the woman is the man. And the head of what? The woman is the man. So, hey, women don't like that. They don't like a man telling them what to do. Right. What to wear. They don't like a man. I'm an independent woman. I don't need no man telling me what to do. Right? Ain't that what they say? Ain't that what they, they daddy don't even tell her what to do. That's how out of control they is. Right. Read on. And the head of Christ is God. And the head of Christ is God. Read on. Every man praying or prophesying. Hold on. That's it. Go to Leviticus 19 and 29. This is why. This is why God had to set the order. Because something will happen if the woman is ahead of the man. Something's going to happen. This is what's going to happen right here. Leviticus 19 verse 29. Read that. Leviticus chapter 19 verse 29 uh -huh. Do not prostitute thy daughter It says what? Do not prostitute thy daughter What does that mean? What does it mean to prostitute your daughter? That means to dress, to dress your daughter inappropriate They got all these shows on TV uh, the Dancing dolls and, and trying to dress little kids up in beauty pageants and all that That's prostituting your daughter Right a woman wearing pants is prostituting herself. You wear pants, you let everybody see what you're working with. Right. You see what I'm saying? A lot of stuff we got control. We got control over. What you mean? We, you don't have control over you putting on a dress? Because we can So wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You know, if to the same thing, we, we judge right now. But we all person here. You said we ain't judging nobody out here. We telling you what it, what you need to do to get, get yourself right with God. That's right. not judging. The judge is, is what's in the courtroom when you go in, the, in, the, in there and it's a judge behind a desk and he say, I'm giving you uh, 10 years to life and slam the gavel on you. That's judgment. There's a difference. You see what I'm saying? All right, so read that one more time. Leviticus chapter 19, verse 29. Uh -huh. Do not prostitute thy daughter to cause her to be a whore. Uh, it says don't prostitute your daughter. Don't prostitute yourself. To become a whore. Why? Read up. Let the land fall to whoredom. Let the land fall to whoredom. It's, it's, it's nothing but wickedness out here. The land has fell to whoredom. Why? Because you got drug dealing out here. You got prostitution out here. You got men sleeping, uh, fornicating, committing adultery. That's why it's all matter of sin. The land has fell to whoredom because of these things. You see right. what I'm saying? The whole land, the, uh, our whole nation is out of order. 
because that's you see what I'm saying? Because we have that's why we have single parent households. You say what? I'll tell you all that. What happened? You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't, but I don't think I do. So that's so. What should you have on when you leave the house? That don't dress. Cause that my don't man, dress. My man, my man ain't gonna want to see my goods. Yeah, he never want that, right? That's why you need to have why, a dress on. Why you have on this. But you got it on though. You can't see my legs. You can't see my toes. You can't see nothing. Yeah, can't see. You see what I'm saying? That's how you need to be dressing. You see what I'm saying? Go to uh First Corinthians three and sixteen. Cause we dealt we 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 dealt with you before, but we gonna deal with you again because smoking is a sin in the Bible. You see what I'm saying? To smoke is a sin. To wear, to for a woman to wear pants is a sin. These are sins we point out. You got that? Read it. First Corinthians chapter three, verse sixteen. Uh -huh. Know ye not that ye are the temple of God, uh -huh. and that the Spirit of God dwelleth in you? Uh -huh. If any man defile the temple of God, him shall God destroy. Read it again. If any man defile the temple of God. Him shall God destroy. So what's gonna happen over? Uh, what's gonna happen if you smoking them cigarettes, Star? Uh, my lungs go bad. Huh? My lungs go bad. People know this too. Your lungs. It's it's a it's a uh, caution on true. the box telling you that you you could get cancer from that. But we do it anyway. Why? Because we had no fear of God. Get that Ecclesiastes eight and eleven. We had no fear of God. We don't fear our God. Not knowing that God put us in slavery on slave ships, God killed, that same God killed everybody on the planet in a flood. I got a dollar to but we have no fear of God. How you doing, my sister, walking to the truck? Come on over here for a second. I'm working for cash. Huh? I'm working for cash. You, you say what now? I got a dollar to cash. You, 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 oh, you, 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 hey, one scripture, watch this. Read what you got. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 11 uh -huh. Because sentence against an evil work Is not executed speedily So this is uh, Solomon He said because the sentence of an evil work Is not executed speedily You with me Star? Yeah, okay. what, is, what does that mean? Uh, it's not Meaning God ain't coming down judging us For every sin that we commit Right If, if, if Jesus Christ was standing right behind you With a sword would you would you smoke that cigarette? You you still smoke it? Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait. Read that one more time. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Because sentence. Okay. Now let's get the sentence. Hold what you got. Go to Romans uh, six. Romans six. Let's see what the judgment is for smoking for sin. Right. Let's see what the judgment is. Because he said, because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. So now we're going to see what the sentence is. Read that. Romans chapter 6, verse 23. Uh -huh. For the wages of sin is death. For the wages of what? Of sin is death. The you know, sentence for sin is what? That did not already happen. What, what, what do you mean? Are you alive right here? That happened. I know that's something to be grateful for, but they going to already have because of the pain. No, watch this. Stay for read it, read it again. For the wages of sin is death. No, the payment for sin is death. You see that? So go back to Ecclesiastes. Watch this. Ecclesiastes chapter 8, verse 11. Uh -huh. Because sentence against an evil work. Because death for an evil work is not executed speedily. Is not executed speedily, meaning Christ ain't, ain't putting you to death. For smoking that cigarette, if 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 you if you, you well, Christ would Christ Christ give the orders of uh, issues the orders of death. But read that one more time. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily. Uh -huh. Therefore, the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do evil. The heart of man is fully set in them to do evil. You see what I'm saying? That's why. You see all this evil going on in our community. Right. Because they fully setting they fully setting evil. Because God ain't coming down judging you for the evil that you're doing. Now you feel like I can do all the evil I want to do and get away with it. Right. You see what I'm saying? But God said, hey, you're not going to get away with this evil. Read on. Though a sinner do evil a hundred times, uh -huh. and his days be prolonged. And his days be prolonged, read. Yet surely I know 
that it shall be well with them that fear God, uh -huh. which fear before him. But it shall not be well with the wicked. It shall what? Not be well with the wicked. Hey, it's not going to be well with the wicked. In that day, the Most High going to judge the world. They going to judge them. Hey, we up here teaching our people how. Right. Read that again. But it shall not be well with the wicked. Uh -huh. Neither shall he prolong his day, uh -huh. which are as a shadow, because he feared not before God. Because we don't have no fear of God. Like I said, get that. Let's get the fear of God. What does it mean to fear God? Do you fear God, son? No. No, I'll pray. I'm a I'll pray. At least. I can tell I'm a God fearing young lady. At least. I, I, certain stuff I don't do. At least you honest. You see what I'm saying? Because we have no fear of God. That's why we sin. If we had a fear of God, we wouldn't do these I, sins. I you see what I'm saying? Read what you got. The book of Psalms, chapter 119, verse 120. Uh -huh. My flesh trembleth for fear of thee. What did the Bible say? My flesh trembleth for fear of thee. The Bible says my flesh fear for trembling of the Most High God. If you knew God would put you to death right now for smoking that cigarette, would you smoke it? You I see, like, you you would just... I like, I like to experience. You like to experience death. That's new, what you're saying? No, no, you're not listening. If God said he going to put you to death for right now for smoking that cigarette, would you smoke it? I don't know. Yo, yo, no, what you mean, yo, no? <laughs> so, so, so the, that's what I'm saying. We don't have no fear of God. We have no fear of death. Yeah, you, you just said it. If you just said you don't fear death. You might not feel it right at the moment, but you fear death because it's so new. But it might not be the fear that you thought it was. Go to Psalms 15 and 17. Oh, what you got? Read that. Proverbs chapter 8, verse 36. Uh -huh. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. So you sin against the Most High God. You wrong your own soul. You smoke that cigarette. You wrong your own soul. You wear pants. You wrong your own soul. Read on. All they that hate me love death. All they that hate God love death. Meaning you ain't scared of death. You say, oh, God gonna put me to death right now for smoking this cigarette? I'm finna smoke it anyway. You see what I'm saying? From day to day. Uh -huh. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. It says what? For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. Suddenly the wrath of the Lord gonna come forth. What is the wrath of the Lord? Let me get that in Isaiah 54. Isaiah 54, verse 16. Cause, cause that, that's that's our problem. We think Christ, Jesus Christ, gonna come back with lollipops and hugs and kisses and say, "Hey, Star, how you doing? Can I get a hug? Is that what I want?" Yes, sir. Watch this. Isaiah chapter fifty-four, verse sixteen. Uh -huh. Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. So God said He created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire. You know what a smith is? A blacksmith, right? What does a blacksmith do? No, a blacksmith is somebody that creates weapons, right? So God created the man that makes weapons. Read on. And that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. And bringeth forth an instrument for his work. What is the instrument that God is going to destroy America with? Uh, fire. A thermonuclear fire. That's an right. atomic bomb. A hydrogen bomb. Right. That's what's going to destroy this place. Do you want to be burned up in the fire star? Can, do you want to be burned up in the fire, star? Huh? Do you want to be burned up in that fire? No, you don't. So what do you need to do? You need to start keeping God's commandments. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. 
IUIC, we deliver the truth.